Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite multi-book accounting capabilities. In this video, I'm going to show how NetSuite automates the application of distinct accounting treatments across concurrent books. Currently, I'm logged in under the controller role. Now let's take a look at how NetSuite multi-book allows me to book one transaction, whether it be an invoice, a vendor bill, or a journal entry, and have differing accounting treatments applied to each book. In this example, I have a customer, Fusion Corporation, being invoiced for 50,000 Mexican pesos out of my Mexican subsidiary. If I hover to my GL impact on my primary accounting books, I can see the debit to accounts receivable for 50,000 Mexican pesos. If I switch over to my local currency book, I can see the change being done to my accounts receivable for 2,500 US dollars. Taking another look at a different perspective from NetSuite's real-time reporting on my balance sheet, I can see in my primary accounting book, my 50,000 Mexican pesos, and in my local currency book, my 2,500 US dollars. Although NetSuite Multibook can automate the recording of transaction to multiple accounting books at once, there may be times where I want to record book-specific journal entries. So in this example, let's look at our Asia Pacific books for a book specific journal used to make an adjusting entry. Using a book specific journal limits the financial impact to a single accounting book, giving me flexibility to meet specific requirements and maintain accurate books while automating reporting. This is highlighted in our multi-book income statement. This time for the journal entry 10,087, being booked to our Asia Pacific books exclusively. Finally, let's take a look at how NetSuite Multibook handles distinct revenue and expense treatments automatically. On this sales order, I have a SaaS license being billed up front for a one year term. Following ASC 606 and US GAAP, the term start and end dates will be used to create a revenue plan evenly recognizing revenue across the term in the primary book. On the other hand, in the tax book, revenue will be recognized upfront in the first month. Since performance obligation and NetSuite are represented as items, NetSuite Multibook automates the difference in revenue treatments on the item record. Switching over to my item record under my revenue recognition rules, you can see and all of my accounting books can have different revenue recognition treatments, specifically in this example, our tax books and our local currency books. Going back to my sales order, on my related records, you'll be able to see the invoice for that $40,000, as well as various revenue arrangements created for our different accounting books. Drilling into my primary accounting book, on my revenue recognition rule, you will see even periods prorated for the one year term. Going back to my tax books, we will see a different accounting treatment for revenue recognition being immediate recognition for that beginning term start date. Automating the creation of revenue arrangements and revenue plans with distinct revenue recognition rules allows NetSuite to apply unique revenue treatments to each accounting book. For example, taking a look at this monthly revenue recognition forecast report, for my primary accounting book, I can see one month has been recognized for the month of April, while the remaining will be recognized over the course of the term. But switching over to my tax book, you will see that revenue was recognized immediately in the first month. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.